Welcome back to day 12, Tuesday, in Strange Horticulture. Things are moving along quite well. We've got the procedures, more or less, for how we need to stop some things in the game from happening, mainly the poisoning of people. We got this, which just shows us how to antidotes for people. We've got our elixir that we finally were able to make and we've learned that there's five plants five specific plants were required for the ritual but the specific plants are not known one two three four five i don't think that's them though especially since that one goes up and down so things are moving right along let's see what who will come through our door next we have to give hellbore a little pat we really don't have anything that we're not um, sure of what to do with. We had the coin. We've got this coin from Gosforth. Let's see. All right, so we have this little tree thing on it. I wonder if that means anything. 1813 Gosforth. I'm assuming that 1813 was the year that Gosforth was founded. Is that symbol on our... The symbol's not on here anywhere. Just a strange symbol. So I don't know. I don't know what the coin's for yet. This doesn't do anything. Make sure none of our new plants go up under the light or that. No? Alright, let's see. Let's see who comes to the door. It's the psychic again. The sisterhood was attacked last night. Bethany is dead, along with the new Arda and 13 others. Those damn fools with all their secrets. No amount of pleading with them could get them to see sense, but through blind luck, we've been left with a slender hope in this fight. Oh no. Sister Charlotte managed to escape the slaughter with the one thing that could help in the fight against the servant. Trust no one. Keep it hidden, but get it open. All right, so we got a box. So how are we gonna get this box open? We need a key, apparently. We don't have a key. We have this. This doesn't do anything. Now, there's plenty of flowers that we have that kind of look like that, right? I mean, it wouldn't be... I mean, we can't drop a flower. Yeah, we can drop a flower onto it. Ooh, uh-oh. Yikes. All right, so let's go see... All right, so we got some rising dread there. All right, let's go see... We have a flower that opens locks. It seems like we did. Let's look for a flower that has five. That's got six. Aldry. Common Trouse. I don't think so. That's a mushroom. Daisy Dock. Simple Potion. Devil's Nightcap. That's the Corpse Crap. The Elder Finium. Nope. Mind Altering Abilities. There's so many of those. Protective Properties. Stimulate the Senses. Eye Bright. We know what that does. Let's check. When dip -a -dip -a -dip, severe pain. Nope. Of course, it's probably going to be one of them at the very end again. Of course, comfrey. Beautiful round. It's not the same type of flower. That's not it. Friendship. Medicinal properties. Do not. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. Some chew and form its tank can of swag and because I'm playing the flame like tendrils. Alright, so. Aliquin blue. That's not the type of flower. Henchuck. Short-term memory loss. Still not exactly sure where that one is. Jacob's Worth. Point the way towards any person that's lost. Lady of Summer. Aids with memory deterioration. Sought after ornamental plant. Larkshire. Sometimes called the kidney flower. Unbearable poison. I like that. Lemon dandy. That's definitely not it. The round of Marioc is made of yellow florets. Drain a person's mental faculties. Crusade, force a person to tell the truth. Lifts curses. Maiden sorrow. What about that plant that helps find treasure? Surely we're not having that one again. Surely it's not that one again. Meek dew, that's only got four. Only got four leaves. Mellow glow. Sharp thorns. Invisibility, Mountain Astery, pronounce the R of Confidence. Norwood, 
We don't know what that does. Somebody just asked for palliants. Toxins from the air. Ease gastric distress. Uncover the hidden, including buried treasure and secret writings. So the red ebony. Does that? Does it look like that? Now the red ebony has six petals. Got five. Why don't I just look at the plants themselves and look for one that has that many? Right, those aren't pointed. Right, let's look at our new plants down here first. Did we already put that one in there? Sweet scent like strawberry dipped in honey. Those are rounded. We already put that one in there though, didn't we? Rather unpleasant scent. Those ones aren't rounded. Those ones, sorry. This was not worry less. It only has, all right, so it has five. But how do they compare? So they're not pointed. They're not as pointed. Did we already put this one in there? That's the question. Go down and look at my other flowers real quick. Maiden Sorrow doesn't have the right number. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The Maiden Sorrow is not for that. Let's check. Maiden Sorrow. Prevent the mind from wandering. So that's not it. None of these flowers have their, none of these are. It's a lady of summer. Ornamental memory and old age. That doesn't look anything like it. Needs spiky. Up heart has got the wrong number. It's got four. This one needs five. Those are the wrong shape. Palliance. What about this palliance here? Palliance has got five. Are they two? Are they too pointy? That's the question. Sometimes it's called sweet breath. Toxins from the air. So it doesn't say anything about helping to unlock locks, which I'm pretty sure the game would tell us. It's the type of thing the game will tell us if it does. But we might not just have the plant yet. Those are not rounded enough. And I can't remember. We've already stuck a plant in there and I already forgot which one it is. This one's got five. I mean six. Kabalia's got six. We've already stuck that plant in there, didn't we? We that's the one we already there. Alright, so it's not that one. This is not the lock. I'm guessing we just don't have it yet. I don't have a plant that does anything to locks. Secret writings, poisons, sheep snap, bulb of bayon, shimmer bug, lining white purple light, witchcraft, and other satanic practices. So Solomon's scepter, since we're dealing with witchcraft here. Doesn't look anything like it. St. John's Poppy. Greatly improved her hearing abilities. Like the wrong types of flower, though. Storian. Insanity and Death. Wandering Blue. Strength and Relationships. Wild Cold. Drunk Too Much. Weeping Bell. Fool's Hope. The Weeping Bell. So let's look at this Weeping. What is this? What is this plant? Purple flowers, the gentle scent. All right, that's palliance. This must be the weeping bell, I think. Or golden light. Did I name it golden light? Nope, it's not golden light. Ghoul's hope. I know, I know that I gave it all three names. Golden light or fool's hope or weeping bell. That was this one. And it doesn't look anything. It has the wrong number of things. Okay, so it's definitely not that one. Alright, so we're just going to have to keep going. Alright, David Shaffer. That goes here. They're saying their sisterhood's been attacked. Didn't know much more than that, but those seeds of redemptionists have got all excited about it. With a bunch of them chanting outside Pullivers right now. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Things are getting hot and feisty. Foxfield Trident. So who is this from? A fox field, and we need this thing again. 
So now we gotta find Fox Field. There's Fox Field. Put that there. And where's the Trident? There's the Trident. So I'm guessing we're going right here. From Fox Field, the Trident points me in the direction of some foothills northeast of Swinside Stone Circle. A faint path leads me over a ridge and into a dell. Here, plant thrives, sheltered from the wind. New plant acquired. Zit. Bluish purple flowers. Now, are those... Oh, great. We've got... How many plants are we going to have that have bluish flowers? All right, so we've got bluish purple flowers. And we got purple bluish flowers, right? Bluish purple flowers. So there's that one and there's that one. They're almost the same. Purple flowers with a gentle scent. All right, let's go see what else we got going on here. There's Mr. Green Eyes. I'm going to Blackcomb. I will kill the servant. My people have a saying, who, he who lives with that fear does not live at all. I will not say that I am not afraid, but it would be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take Imbersol. Imbersol or Lesser Marionic. I wonder which one of these we want to give him. So these have two entirely different effects. So, Imbersoul, protective properties, so that will help him with it. And then Lesser Marietoc, I think that will keep him from doing it. Which I'm guessing, utterly drain, rinse them slow and uncomprehending. So we want to give him Imbersoul so that he can help, so we can get rid of this monster. There we go. So now we know that Imbersoul, that is definitely Imbersoul. And Widow's Woe, that induce fear, also called Kempfoot, partly due to its unpleasant scent. Alright, so that was definitely Imbersoul. So now we've given him what he needs to go and fight the servant, but will he be able to do it? And what is that going to do to the people's seeds of redemption who are going to be mad at me if I helped him kill the servant? So many things to know, so many things to go on about. Like, what is this coin for? 1813 Gosforth. With the name of an address? Or what? Let's go look at Gosforth again. It's up here. There's nothing around here that seems to indicate an 1813, so I don't know what to do with that coin yet. We're just going to not worry about it. Go ahead and ding our next person. Milton Forbes, allow me to present my services. I own a small shop that specializes in curiosities. I would have thought that someone in your position ought to be interested in perusing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Our inside antiques. Orchard Road. Well, I don't know where Orchard Road is. Okay. Anything on here? Anything on there? No. Any of our new plants have got any weird things? So, our inside antiques. Orchard. Our inside antiquities in Orchard Road. Is there an Arnside? <clears throat> I think it would be next to the... Right there, Swinside. Hard not. One of all these are going to be places we have to visit. Or just, there's Ambleside. Undermere. Grisdale Forest. River Levin. There's Arnside. Alright, let's go to Arnside. The dark exterior of Arnside antiquities blends into its surroundings. Taylor called Jones in an ugly looking haberdashery to the look to the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it. Inside, however, I'm greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets set alongside faded books and manuscripts while strange utensils and machines, their uses unfathomable, occupy rows of display cases. It is some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere with two new recipes for elixirs that demand demand further study. Don't need that anymore. The elixir of the damned. Made from a combination of Arbutum, Alacretus, Masculus Fretanita, and Minus Fortis, this powerful elixir is dangerous and extreme caution is advised. It is said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Those who have drunk it appear vacant and lost, alive, but no longer really with us. 
In Quentin's elixir, this elixir will enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear, though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it would not be wise to drink this near the edge of a cliff. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage, a red flower to protect the mind, and a seed pod for luck. Alright, so there's those. Can we go ahead and brew them now? Alright, so we've got this. Alright, let's see. The Elixir of the Damned. Alright, so our we just have to see if we have these three plants in our thing. Our book. Book of Strange Plants, which means going through all of them. So our Butthem, Maculusus, and Mins. Our Butthem, Masculusus. Alright, so there's our Butum Alacratus. Alright, so we need Cabalia. I'm just going to go ahead and stick them up there just in case we do have them. So there's the Cabalia. All right, so now we need um, Maculosus and Mins. Maculosus and Mins. Now we might not have them. Oh, Mins Fortus. Mind-altering abilities. All right, so Mins Fortus. So Dranthium, of course. It's always Dranthium, isn't it? I hope it puts these back where I got them. So Dranthium, and then some Maculosus Retentina. Now that seems, both of those seem like I names, so I'm guessing it's gonna be... Hinchuk, Maculosus Retentina. Now Hinchuk, you know, this is one that I'm not 100% sure this is actually Hinchuk. So I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Must be Hinchuk. Alright, so we got that one done. We got our Elixir of the Damned. So where did it go? Now it messes up our plants. There's the Elixir. Alright, so this is the Elixir of the Damned. Dark red liquid. Go ahead and put a Elixir of the Damned. Damned. Alright, so we got that one taken care of. Put that in the old archives. Now, did it mess up everything? Where did our Hinchuk go? Well, there's Copper Caledonum. That's still in the right place. Digitatus Mortatus. But where did our Hinchuk go? I think it just dumps everything, right? No? Looks like it might have put them all back where they came from. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so let's try this other one. Think Quinn's Elixir. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage. A red flower to protect the mind and a seed pod for luck. Now this is the one that has a seed pod, so the lark shine. Let's see. Let's go up here and look at the lark shine. Kidney flower, the pain is all right. I don't know if that is um that's gonna help people with luck. We're going to go through there. So we need something. So something with courage. And so you get to watch me dig through the book again. Because we can't sort them by. Clarity of visions. Pain stomach pains. Smells buttery. Small rashes. Takes against extreme cold. Let me make sure that we need. Luck, mind, and courage. Luck, mind, and courage. A rare plant please tell if those can afford a place reese made from the graves. Cabalia flowers almost always contain six petals. Finding a seven-petaled flower is good fortune. And a seed pod for luck. So could that be Cabalia? We just use Cabalia, though. What does Cabalia look like? It doesn't look like it has a seed pod on that plant. So we'll go ahead and check some more. Forgetting against the mind, a red flower to protect the mind. That's candlewood. Pretty sure we have candlewood. That would be up here. No? Do we have candlewood? Alright, there's candlewood. A red flower to protect the mind. A seed pod for luck. A five point to grant courage. To grant courage. Successful hunt. Oh, clavillium. Open any lock, no matter how complex. Where's our clavillium? We have clavillium? Yes, we do, but it's, we don't, all right, where's the lock at? Clavillium, clavillium. 
there we go. All right, we got that one done. All right, we're going to leave all this up here. Look, our desk is getting quite crowded. Okay, so there's Caldery. All right, so we're getting lots of things done. There's our lock open. Centuries against eye strain, blah, blah, blah. We, so we still need luck and mind, right? That was curse, so we still need luck and mind. Rejuvenation effect. Courage. So Daisy Dock. I don't know if we have Daisy Dock. Grant Courage. So Daisy Dock. What it looks like there. It has a three pointed. And so let's look at it. So it has one, two, three. Kind of looks like a simple potion. Take it before going into battle. Now these leaves. Now which one's leaves look more like it? Purple flowers with a gentle scent. Those leaves. Or these leaves. Those have got one, two, three. They're kind of bigger. They got one, two. And then this only has one on each side. So it's got to be this one. But yeah, so this has got to be Daisy Dock. I'm guessing. I'm going to go ahead and put a pink on it. Daisy Dock. Things are moving right along now, aren't they? Daisy Duck, right there. We'll put that in the elixir. So now we've got courage. Courage and luck. And now we just need luck. Painful death. Mind altering. Rejuvenates aching bones. Protective properties. Farmer's worry, severe fatigue. Da, 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 da. No, to improve eyesight at night. Forest come free. Sleeping droughts. Energy boost. Definitely don't want that. Friendship. Digestive troubles. I know there's one that was soporific, right? And that's not the one we want. Luck is what we're looking for. Dental hygiene. Where is the luck? Dead souls trapped within the plant. That's not good. And Chuck. Startling effects on memory. Or amnesia. Hop heart. Pain relief. Jacob's worth. It helps you find people. Defense mechanism. So it doesn't tell us anything that does. Memory deterioration. Lemon dandy. Curing afflictions of the heart. As we know, that one makes people stupid. Tell the truth. Lifts curses. Made sorrow. I'm sorry you're having to watch me do this, but there's really no other way to do it. I mean, I can't create a database of these plants. Keeps the mind from wandering. Bound to secrecy. There's just so many plants, though. Pass unnoticed, nor would. We know that doesn't do anything. It just hurts people. Crushes the air, toxins, ease gastric distress, reduce anxiety, buried treasure and secrets. Turn point detects poisons. Bring good fortune. So the sheep snap. Sheep snap. The green seed pods of the sheep snap. So do we have anything that has green seed pods? I don't think we do. I don't think we have sheep snap yet. So here's Norwood's completely out of place. There's Finnet, Mikdu, Mellow Glow, Mountainous Story. So there's Norwood right there. Don't know how it got out of place. So we so sheep snap. Green seed pods. This doesn't have green seed pods. It has dark purple flowers. All amount of light. This does not have any green seed pods. The leaves, the long source of acerbic color. Those aren't green seed pods. I looked at that one. These are blue seed pods. So I'm guessing, well, are these seed pods? I think of the sheep said bring fortune the green seed pods have an hard out hard outer shallows hard outer shell and sound hollow I don't think that's it 
could be. I just don't think we have this plant yet. So we know that we need. Go ahead and write down these two. So we know that we need candlewood, candlewood, and daisy duck. Candlewood and daisy duck. Daisy duck and sheep snap, which we do not have yet. Daisy duke and sheep snap. Sheep snap. Sheep sheep snap. Green seed pod. Okay, so don't have that one yet. Put that up. St. Quinn's elixir right there. First is the corpse's friend. Reminder. Then comes ankle grabber. The binder. Third is the fear bringer. Fourth to lift the curse. Last to pedal to secure black buds reverse. Follow the dud and tributary to its source. So follow the dud and tributary to its source. So there's the River Dudden. Is this the source right here? Nothing here. Okay. So now we have to wait for that. First is the corpse's friend. So I have to dig through all of our plants again. First is the corpse's friend. A reminder. Then comes the ankle grabber. The binder. Third is the fear bringer. Fourth to lift a curse. Last a petal to secure black blood's reverse. So we'll have to dig through all those. Corpse friend, I know there's one. I remember. Corpse friend, a reminder. Then comes the ankle grabber, the binder. I'm not sure about that one. I know we have one that lifts a curse, and I know that we have one that is to. Here's that poison. Do we have the rest of these? I don't know. Hey, Swift. The dreams have changed. I understand now what I need to do. When your librarian friend visits tomorrow, I'll give her this instead of the palliance that she will ask for. She knows something that she's not telling you. Ooh, what is this? She knows something that she's not telling me. Long, thin leaves, aroba, is sharp and citric. I'm supposed to give this to the librarian. Well, this is... All right, I'm going to go ahead and say give to the librarian. Give librarian. Okay. Okay, so do we want to end the day or do we want to follow the dead and tributary to its source? Let's check this again. We've got an elixir that we don't know how to make, and we've got this thing that we need to, to figure out. So let's try this real quick. Follow the dead and tributary to its source. So there's the river Dudden. We've already done this one. So here's a Dun tributary right here. We've never seen this plant before, and here it is growing in abundance. So what plant is this? It goes there. Then it goes in the archive. Somewhat damp smell, dark red flowers. We don't know what it does unless it's in our book. Okay, so it's not a Guria. Like blue flowers, it's not a Guria. What else do we not have? Daisy Duck, Devil's Night Trap. Corpse's friend have been ingested as as the light pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. Okay. So some of these I don't think we've had yet. A Vulum. That's definitely not a Vulum. Farmer's Worry is still that stinking mushroom that we don't have. I don't think we do anyway. Fox Bottom. We've already identified Lesser Marriotta. And we've identified Lyle of Neptune. Pretty sure. Parsley Petal Pale Flowers. I'm pretty sure we've already got that one. It's not... I don't think it's Sheep Snap or Palliance. Definitely not Palliance. Definitely not sheep snap, but I'm going to look anyway, just in case. Green seed pods. You don't see any green seed pods, right? We can't even use that on it. Those look like yellow seed pods. All right, so we're almost done. We're going to go through here. Thorian. Pretty sure we already know what Thorium is. Dark red fruits, which we do not have. Trimblehoff. 
small cup-like flowers generally point downward to avoid flowing water and also easy access to all right so this is probably tremble huff i'm going to go ahead and mark it as such okay close that up end our day see what happens get another card and uh end more raven spider Equipped with Arda's knowledge, she journeyed west to the Stone Circle. Unknown to her, she was not alone as she made her preparations. I'm pretty sure that tomorrow, first thing in our new episode, we're going to have to go to Enmore, and then go to Raven, and then the spider. Is that the spider? The spider's there. So let's go up, and then over. And we go there. But we're going to do all this tomorrow. We've got so much stuff we've got to worry on. We're not going to worry about it today. So thank you for being here, friends. And we'll see you soon.